And this is not a first. There have been several instances where China had to eat crow because of its propaganda. This is most interesting. China was once caught red-handed, trying to sell clips from a Hollywood movie as its Air Force drill. I'm not kidding. So many boomerangs later, why does China still indulge in propaganda? Because propaganda is all it knows. And over the years, it has become an essential tool for the survival of the Chinese Communist Party. We should carry on constant propaganda among the people. These were the words of Mao Zedong, spoken sometime in 1945. Seven decades on, the leaders of China are following in Mao's footsteps. Propaganda continues to be China's favorite tool. Be it for promoting the Communist Party, or the military, or Chinese orthodoxy, or curbing dissent at home and outside. Why this love for propaganda? It's simple. Propaganda is the safest bet while lying. It's also a very handy tool when covering dirt. Let's consider the Wuhan virus for example. When one shady lab and one wet market whitewashed an entire year for the world, China posted videos of Chinese military delivering aid overseas. Not a word about this very aid being faulty. When the US questioned Beijing over its mishandling of the coronavirus, it replied with this Lego video. Full marks for entertainment, zero for balance. We discovered a new virus. It's dangerous. Wear a mask. Stay at home. Building temporary hospitals. When the world criticized China for quashing the Hong Kong pro-democracy movement, it scripted a video of the global media coverage on the BLM protest. And guess who featured? Where are the self-righteous human rights reports now? America preaches equality to the world, but practices racism and discrimination at home. Not a single frame on our questions on Taiwan, Tibet or Hong Kong. You see, propaganda is the CCP's ventilator. Fake news is intrinsic to its survival. Facts, on the other hand, are poisonous. Look at the PLA propaganda videos. Such clips often make their way to social media. This one came when China was talking disengagement in Ladakh. What for? The idea is to project the PLA as invincible. That's propaganda. The fact being, the PLA has no combat experience. But Beijing cannot tell you this. It goes to any lengths to hide this truth. Back in 2011, China tried to pass off a video from Tom Cruise star or Top Gun as an Air Force drill. Of course, China was called out. History repeated itself a couple of days ago. This video claims the Chinese had administered oxygen to the Indian troops during the Galwan clash. Turns out, the video was from 2017. There is another takeaway from this example. The role of individuals as propaganda machines. Look at this Twitter handle. Her bio is vague, but bias crystal clear. India apparently occupied Chinese land in Ladakh. Indian troops apparently crossed over to the Chinese side. And look at the latest. All hail the People's Liberation Army. Also leading China's propaganda campaign is what China calls news agencies. Global Times takes the cake. Its latest editorial talks about politicization of Hong Kong security law. You will find similar reports in Xinhua or CCTV or any Chinese media agency. They are blindly following the instructions of their supreme leader. Spread positive propaganda for the correct guidance of public opinion. These are the words of Chinese President Xi Jinping. Bureau Report, Vion, World is One.